To start with, let's go to SC38 to create the ABAP kit program. So let's give the ABAP kit uh, standalone. Select local object or a package. Now go to ababkit.org and copy the program and then paste it here. So let's save it. With ABAPKit program activated, let's go ahead and run this. Let's go ahead and create a new online repository by clicking on New Online. So here, we will go and go to the GitHub repository and then get the Git uh, repository link. So let's paste the Git repository. Let's put a package name and make sure the folder logic is put to full. Give a display name. Here I'm giving Microsoft AI SDK for SAP app app. And click on the Create Online Repo button. If you have a brand new system, it's possible that you get this error, error 421. This is because your certificate is not installed. To install the certificate, let's first go to S Trust transaction. Okay. So to get the certificates, let's head back to the GitHub repository and click on that connection is secure button. And here, go to the details tab and at the bottom, click on the export button to export the root certificate. I'm just saving it into a GitHub search folder. We will use this back in SAP. Okay, now let's switch back to S Trust. Let's go to change mode and then import the GitHub certificate that we had earlier downloaded. Click on add to certificate list and then save. All right, with the certificate installed, let's head back to ABAP Get program. So I'm going back to SE38, then running the Z ABAP Get standalone. Now let's try creating the online repository one more time. Again, the Git URL the package name, folder logic set to full, and then whatever display name. In this case, again, I'm going, uh, giving Microsoft AI SDK for SAP about and create online repo. This time, it should work. All right, so this gives us a list of all the data. Make sure that you're on the main, and then click on pull. It'll download all the program files. Make sure you select everything and click on continue. Let's create a new transport. All right, at this point, everything is being downloaded to your application server. And we will get a activation window. So let's click, let's, let's make sure everything is selected and click on activate. When the screen turns whitish, that means everything is installed. Let's go ahead and check our installation. So um, in this case, I'm going to transaction SE80. And then whatever package name we had provided, we are opening it up in, uh, in this this particular case I'm going to the demos package and running the models program and if you are seeing the screen that means the installation was successful